Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the palette tag round two. Right. You may have seen it going around some of the bigger channels, um, but I wanted to do it because I have a lot of palettes, so... Um, I All the important it. channels have done it, so now it's here. And um, I did the first the first tag. I will have that link down below. But I did that way back two years ago or so when I didn't have a lot of palettes. And so it's not that good. Back in but, the olden times. But you can watch that if you want to. Aaron's going to do this with me. I'll put the prompts down below if you want to do it. And yeah, I challenge all of you who have a channel to do this too. And, um, yeah, hi, my name is Jennifer, and this is my husband, Aaron, Hello. and I do makeup material on my channel. I, I do, help sometimes. I do unboxings, um, and I do, uh, per my channel name, I am agoraphobic, so I do talk about agoraphobic material and mental health stuff. So, if you're into any of those topics, or if you're into all those topics, then I highly recommend you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell and set it to all. Do it. So Do it now. That you're notified every time that I upload a video. So, if you're into seeing some of our favorite palettes, then hang tight because we are getting right into it. Okay, so this tag was started by Samantha March and Allie Gons, who are two big YouTubers on this platform. And I think they started the original palette tag as well. So, um, but it's been going around to all the YouTubers. And like I said, feel free to um, do it yourself. I'd love to see what you have to say about all your palettes. I know a lot of you I out there. I would also love to see. I know a lot of you out there have a lot of palettes. And um, the first prompt is for us to show you our all-time favorite palette. So mine is the ABH Sultry palette. I got this, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before that, when ABH brought it out. And had a special on it and so mine is relatively new it's not that old but I just love all of these glittery metallics and neutral shades in here um, I just love making up looks with this I just love this palette a lot just fabulous and the sparkly case oh yeah mm -hmm. I love the sparkly case too yeah. even though I don't keep it. <laughs> it's I don't keep it very it's well still kept. It still sparkles. It still sparkles. Yeah. What is there's your there's a lesson there for all of us, I think. What is your all time favorite? Well, this is the ColourPop Disney Frozen Two palette, the the Elsa one. And uh see that's the that's the colors there. And this is, uh, this is my favorite because I like it, and then also just because it's an extension of my, my overall love and or obsession for all things Disney Frozen, um, which uh, has been going on for a few years, um, and uh, just, you know, kind of reflects my overall new life's ambition to someday be a sparkly ice princess. <laughs> okay, the next prompt is for us to show you our new favorite palette. And mine is no new palette, definitely not a new palette, but I got it um, around Black Friday, and it is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, and I've been using it for the last few days or so, and it's on my eyes today. I use the darker shades today, but you can come up with a nice pinky look or a nice darker look. All sorts of possibilities. Yeah. And um, although Urban Decay has kind of fallen off of like 
I used to love Urban Decay, and I've got a lot of Urban Decay palettes in this list, but um, I love their earlier palettes a lot. Um, I'm still rooting for you, Urban Decay. I really am. It's almost like they've gradually, you know, lost quality, gradually fallen into ruin somehow in a slow, progressive manner. It's, there's a word for it. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, here's my next new favorite here, which is the She Glam from Shein, where things start with she. It's the spontaneous Sagittarius problem. I mean, and you know, I tried looking at He Glam and, and He and it, but they were terrible. So, you know, I mean, it's, what are you going to do, right? So, yeah, spontaneous Sagittarius, which I, I am, right? Yeah. I can never remember. Um, <laughs> totally like a Sagittarius, right? I don't even know. I don't know. An independent and wanderlust dreamer like you wants to explore the world and learn everything there is to know. This makes you a fascinating soul. Your compassionate presence always puts others at ease. You want the best for your loved ones, even if that means not sugarcoating the truth. Like having pretty much nails until the end there. Uh, so yeah, it's got a lot of purple stuff, and it's like yeah, hell yeah, and the, like also like you know the you know she's like yeah I'm fabulous and I got you know my eye makeup is on point, but also you know they shoot you with this arrow right in the butt if you cross me, you know so. Okay, the next we gotta keep this moving because there's eleven prompt. The next mm -hmm. one is you keep for the memories, and mine will always be the naked OG naked palette. Naked. This was my very first high-end palette purchase back in the early 2010s and I took I had this with me at the tea room when I used to own the tea room and used to do my makeup at the tea room and all those memories there and I tried to do a palette um, pan that palette with it that didn't work out but you got, some, you got through cut through to some pan here and there, you know. Yeah, I did. But you broke, um, you broke through. I don't use this palette anymore, but I still keep it around for the memories. Memories of the palace <sighs> of yesterday. Something, something, the moonlight. Okay, what's your memories palette? Urban Decay, Born to Run. Because, you know, I'm a wild, rebellious soul. And also because this is a really pretty palette and it's one of the one of the first palettes that you gave me. Oh. Okay, next is show us your underrated palette. And this goes for the brand in general. I have a couple of hip dot palettes. Ah, hip dot. And I think the formula is very underrated. This and, is and they my... are and they're indeed dots, big dots. This is probably my favorite Hip Drop palette, and I think the quality of the formula on it is very good. Um, I see a lot of the beauty community kind of making fun of Hip Dot for doing collabs with different strange intellectual, one that will let them. intellectual properties and stuff like that. But I think it is a highly underrated formula, and I love this palette in particular. What do you have? I have the ColourPop Cherry Crush. Now, ColourPop cranks out, you know, especially these little mini palettes here, like, you know, nobody's business. And so it's probably easy to overlook some of them. But uh, this one, I think, is, is really interesting because it's got a really good, like, gradient going with a lot of intermediate shades in there, so I think you could you could have the opportunity to do some really interesting stuff with that. Plus I just like uh, I just like cherry stuff. I don't know what it is. Okay, next is not a favorite palette, but you can't get rid of it. You know, I have another Urban Decay um, palette. This is the Naked Heat. My problem oh. is with this palette is this is totally not my color story at all. I come up, I've come up with so many duds looks with this palette. But one time, one time, I came out with a banger look <laughs> with this palette. And I have been chasing that look ever since with this palette. So I am not giving up on this palette. You slayed and everyone fell down in awe. 
So I cannot get rid of this palette because of that one look right. that I made. And that also, I absolutely loved. And also because naked. <laughs> okay, my turn. It's coming. It's sliding out. I got it. I got it. There it goes. Okay. Beauty Bakery. Breakfast in bed. Oh, see, naked and breakfast in bed. <laughs> uh, so this one, um, it's not so much that, I mean, I like the color story on it, but it's not so much that it, in particular as, um, as uh, I just like, this is, reminds me, this is one of the, one of the particular ones that we did one of together. So yeah, that reminds me of that. So that's why I particularly like that. Yeah, we did a get ready together with that one. Beautified together. Okay, the next prompt is show us your palette that is your favorite collab. Now this can be an influencer collab or an intellectual property collab or whatever. Mine is Lethal Cosmetics and Teresa is Dead, Lethal is Dead palette. This is my only Lethal Cosmetics. Oh gosh, I got it all over my finger. And Here, let me look it up on you. Hey. Okay. I love this palette a lot. Um, I think Teresa did a great job on it. I don't own a lot of influencer and collapse, influencer collapse, but I just had to get this one because... Well, she's kind of just in a class of her own, you know? <laughs> I, yeah, like I said, I love Teresa, and I thought she did a great job. I think I already said that anyway. I love this. And I, I someday aspire to swear with even a small fraction of the the fluency and creativity that she does. You know? Yeah, and I think Lethal Cosmetics has a really great formula. So, what do you have? And I have a collab I hip dot with Peeps. Because Peeps are colorful and delicious. And yeah, this is definitely some some epic peeps. That's a great spring palette. Colors on that, yeah, yeah. So you know, peeps. What's not to love, right? Okay, next prompt is show us your 20, 2021 favorite, and mine is definitely this was not a question. Is the Natasha Denona retro palette? It is just so beautiful. I'm so glad I got this palette. Um, I don't know what else to say. Besides, it is my favorite of 2021, and I highly recommend getting this palette if you don't have it already. So, what was your favorite of 2021? Uh, so, the one that I really like is the Violet Voss's Violet Sunset. And it's not, it's, it's you know, it's, it's not like the, the colors in it, it's not like it's, um, you know, tons and tons of purple or one particular one. It's just something about... The combination of the color story on this one that I really like really does bring this whole sunset vibe and yeah I just think it's, it's got some really cool stuff. Okay next prompt is show us your palette that you didn't expect to love and this was the first palette I ever tried not the first one I ever bought but the first one I ever tried from Nomad Cosmetics and it's their America's Parks palette and this was the palette that just made me fall in love with their formula. Um, I know it's kind of a hard palette to kind of navigate, but I've come up with some really cool looks with this if you just give it a chance. And I really didn't expect to love this palette because it looks so challenging. But the color story is a, is a hard read. <laughs> Yeah, but the formula is just head over heels great, and yeah, I love the Nomad Cosmetics. So, uh, so this one is the Ace Ace Butte Ace Boot Ace Booty Ace Butte Ace Butte uh, Falling for You. Now, I like I like fall stuff, but I probably gravitate towards the the spring stuff. Um, a little more typically with you know all the the bright colors and florals you know because uh because uh you know basically i'm a girly girl and uh 
But uh, this one, this has got some really cool fall stuff in it. And um, this is definitely one that I'm going to give uh, a little more tries to. It's got some good shivers and stuff, too. Yeah. Okay. Show us your palette that sparks joy. And I have loved this palette for a long time. Again, it is one of the first, it, it was like the first palette I bought from Ace Beauté. And it is their flare palette. Um, it used to be like my favorite palette that I ever had. But I've kind of grown more into neutral looks. And you can get a neutral look from this palette. But every time I look at all those colors, all those great beautiful colors, it just brings me a lot of joy. And... Reminds me how much I love Ace Beauty. <laughs> and this one is the Color Pop Lush Life, and and yeah, I'm kind of a I'm kind of a sucker for Color Pop stuff. They got me, uh, but they uh, this one uh, it's just very just sort of, sorry, sort of bright and alive and vivid and and you know you look at the graphics and it's like yeah it's like this is going to be awesome and also a tiger might eat your face, <laughs> but in an awesome way. Okay, the next is show us a newest, show us your newest palette in your collection. And mine I haven't even taken out of the box yet because I want to do that when I do my video on it. And it is the Natasha Denona Mini Crush palette. Natasha um, Denona. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is necessarily my favorite one of my favorite color um, stories. I'm not that much into pink and red, but I thought I'd give it a chance, and I'm looking forward to doing a video on it. And the the new new one that I'm interested in is the Purple Haze one by Huda Beauty, which we talked about before when they got it in their bags or whatever the yeah. tipsy. So, so that's the that's the one on that. That's just got some really cool stuff that I want to give a shot to. So. Yeah, and the final prompt is first palette you used in the year 2022, and I had to look back at my videos, and it was the Natasha Denona Mini Biba palette, which I really like a lot the more I've been using it. So, y'all, yeah, shout out to Natasha Denona and Urban Decay. All right. And I don't have the first palette used in 2022 because most of the time when I do makeup, it's it's on this channel because yeah, and we it's, haven't done any. It's hard to find, hard for me to find, you know, beauty time sometimes. <laughs> and uh, and we haven't done any done any big ones yet this year, so yeah. Hopefully, I will see. So again, I will leave these prompts in the description down below. Um, I would love to see more people out there do this palette tag round two. Again, I will leave my video where I did round one and those have the prompts in it as well and um yeah um give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it it really helps my channel out and it only takes a second and yeah I hope you are all having a amazing wonderful day today and if you are not, I hope that something comes along and sparks your day so that you can have a wonderful rest of your weekend or beginning of your week whenever you are watching this. And if you are having an especially hard time, remember we are thinking about you and sending you out all those good vibes for you. And remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you tomorrow for my make my mask Monday. Okay. Alright, just stay well until then. Goodbye. Okay,